Hello bartenders and welcome to this edition of Bartenders World where we're gonna go ahead and make the world's famous mojito. I'm Joel Gonzalez. I'm born and raised here in Miami. My family is Cuban and I have yet to try a very good mojito here in Miami. I've tried a couple decent ones but not a very good mojito. Being from Miami, so close to Cuba, by the way, this is a Cuban drink, so it only is right to go ahead and bring my guayabera and my hat. It's only right for it to be good here so close to Cuba. So let's go ahead, let's make a regular classic mojito, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a little mojito with a twist, like a piña colada mojito. Let's go ahead and let's try it out. First, we're gonna go ahead and start with the regular mojito. Got my glass. Now there's four things that make up the base of a mojito. You got your lime, you got your sugar, you got your light rum, and you have your mint leaves. Let's go ahead and let's get that base right here inside this glass. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these limes. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze in three limes, face them up. If you like your mojito a little bit more on the citrusy side, you could always add about four to five, that's no problem. It's a very customizable drink, and I feel like that's the reason why I haven't had a good mojito here in Miami. Because sometimes people do it for their own taste. I like it a little bit on the sweet side, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put about three teaspoons. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead and let's add a little bit of mint leaves. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick these out. I'm not gonna go and throw these stems in there. I went ahead and planted a mint tree in my backyard. All you have to do is water it a couple times a day and you are golden. This stuff is the best. Remember, we're cooking with quality. Fresh is always best. Let's go ahead, let's give that a nice little slap, throw that in there. And let's go ahead and let's add our light rum. It's gonna go and be an ounce and a half. Boom. Muddling time, you're gonna go ahead and muddle face down with this flat side face down. And you wanna go ahead and kinda just press down on it. You don't wanna stab the thing to death, just go ahead and press down five, six times. Beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead, let's add some ice. All the way to the top. Let's give this a nice shake, about 15, 20 seconds. Lovely, let's go ahead, let's re-ice that. Add a little bit more. Beautiful, let's go ahead and top that off with some club soda. That looks lovely. Let's give it one more little shake, why not? Perfect. And last but not least, let's go ahead and let's give that a beautiful garnish with some mint leaf. If you have a sugar cane, you could always use a sugar cane. So here we have our classic, delicious, refreshing mojito. Let's go ahead and let's do that mojito with a twist by adding pina colada. A little addition recipe to this mojito recipe we already have. Let's go ahead and let's get that highball glass ready. Let's go ahead and let's get the base, which is gonna be our limes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing pretty much. Like if I'm making a regular mojito, the only difference is, you'll see. So I got the limes, let's go ahead and let's add some sugar in there. This one I'm only gonna put a couple, couple teaspoons of sugar since pineapple is pretty sweet itself. Let's go ahead and let's pick out some mint leaves. It has about six to 10 mint leaves on that classic mojito. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick to pretty much those six to 10, probably about six. Slap in there. Now, instead of regular light rum, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use coconut rum. Same amount, ounce and a half. 
beautiful, it smells delicious. And let's go ahead and let's get some pineapples in there. That's gonna be the game changer. Fresh pineapples, guys. I'm only gonna go ahead and pretty much put two chunks. Here I got some nice two chunks there together. Lovely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and muddle this. Now this, you do have to muddle a little bit more than your average mojito because you have the pineapples in there. You wanna get all that juice, you wanna get all that flavor from that pineapple. Look at that, that just looks stunning. Piña Colada Mojito, who would've thought? Let's go ahead, let's add some ice in there. Just like that other mojito, we're gonna go ahead and give it a good shake, 15, 20 seconds. Look at that. Let's go ahead and re-ice this. Doesn't that make you wanna take a cruise or something like that? That just looks fabulous. Let's go ahead and just give it one more little shake. Beautiful. Nice little lime wedge garnish. And let's go ahead and why not? Go ahead and throw some mint garnish as well. There you have your pina colada mojito and your classic mojito. Tell me what you guys think, they're both refreshing. If you guys wanna switch it up, use different fruits, let us know, comment, like it, share it with your friends. This is Bartender's World, there you have world's famous mojito. Cheers.